Hi, hi. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nice to see you, teacher. Hola. How are you today? Nice. Excellent. I'm fine, teacher. Nice, nice. Welcome. Class number 16. Time is really flying, right? Imagine. May the 12th. Vamos a ver. Everybody here. <clears throat> Let me say. Let's get the attendance list. What's the weather like in, in your house? Mm -hmm. It's hot, teacher. It's hot, well, it's very hot. It was raining today, but it's like the temperature didn't, didn't change. Probably, I think that in the, in the following days, after a couple of more rains could be that we change that the temperature change, right? Wait, no. Let's check. Let's see who are here. Remember, tell me present as I call, right? Hi. Present, present. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, means Thank you. Nice. Attendance charging. Okay. Let's see. Tell me present as I call you. Uh, Carlos Alfredo? Present teacher. <clears throat> Cecilia? Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Clarixa? Clarixa. No está Clarixa. Claudia Ivón. Present teacher. Okay, Daniel Eduardo. Present teacher. Erika Joana. Present teacher. Isaías. 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 No está. Mm -hmm. Ivan, Yvette, Present teacher. Jonathan, Jonathan, Jorge Alberto, Present teacher. Juan Antonio. Juan. Juan Antonio, no. Okay, Karen. Karen, Karen. 
Not here, Karen. Luis Enrique. Me present, Miss. Manuel Antonio. Rosy. Present, Miss. Rosy. Present, teacher. <clears throat> Sandra Elizabeth. Sandra. Silvia Estela. No está Silvia. Silvia Inés. Good evening. Good evening. Present Miss Manuel. Manuel. Yes. Ok. Vamos a ver. Somebody else connected. After I call you. Somebody else connected after I call you. Nobody, nobody in Hills. Clarissa, Isaías, eh, Iván, Jonathan, Juan Antonio, Karen, Sandra, Silvia Estela, Silvia Inés. No. Ok, vaya. <laughs> okay, very good. Oh, I look cool. Another avatar. A new one. <laughs> okay, well, well. Let's begin. Uh, today we are beginning a new unit. We have a new unit. Right, beginning unit number four. Remember yesterday we were finishing with idiomatic expressions part number two. Today uh, we are going to talk about policies, policies, yeah, policies. And the, the grammar point that we have for today is should. We're going to be using should. What should you do? What should you eat? Yes. Should I? Okay, should you? You should. That's the structure. Okay, well, I'm going to share with you. Let me move here. Mm -hmm. How to use should. We use should when we want to give recommendation, right? And the objective says, by the end of this class, participants will be able to use should and shouldn't. Yes, we'll be able to use should and shouldn't. So when do we use should or when do we use shouldn't? We use them to give recommendations. Or what we will say, advice. I want to give a piece of advice, right? We don't say advices, uh-uh. Some advice or a piece of advice, right? Now, look at these questions. Do you know the policies at your workplace? What are the policies at your workplace? And what are, what are some of them? Do you know the policies at your workplace? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Or no. For example, if they tell you hmm, you have to be on time, not the smoke maybe, during the work. Maybe don't thing. smoke. Uh huh. Don't smoke at workplace. Do not use your cell phone during working hours. Um, don't eat. 
Um, don't eat. Don't eat during working hours. Yeah. For example, that is part of, of, of my policy, right? I cannot eat during class. I can drink something, but I cannot eat. Yeah. So, uh huh. What else? Another policy? Another policy, another, another, another? No more. Mm -hmm. Teacher, pero estamos hablando de que si tenemos nosotros eh, como policías en nuestro trabajo o como tenemos como algún guardián. Políticas. Políticas. Uh -huh. Entonces serían como las políticas de nuestro trabajo, entonces, perdón. Uh, remember the things that you that you know that you are permitted to do at your work. Right? There are things that you definitely know that you cannot do because if you do them, they may fire you. Right? So what are those things that you can do? And what are those things that you cannot do? Uh -huh. uh -huh. how do you say confidentiality in English? Confidency. Confidentiality. Confidentiality. Confidencialidad, you say? Yes. Confidence? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Check. Check that the, the, the policies are like rules, right? They can be statements of rules that you may have at the company, right? So what are some policies that you may have? Do you know? Mm -hmm. To turn a smoke in the office, um, maybe uh -huh. you, you don't play uh, games. I okay. Uh, juego de azar. How do you say juego de azar? Like gambling, right? Uh, and and what about um? Uh, mobile phone policies do you have mobile phone policies like saying you cannot use the phone during the working hour you should use only the phone of the company or things like that do you do you have mm -hmm. no teacher no no uh, what about health and safety policy? Like not putting yourself and others in risk, being responsible. I remember last time we were talking with Rosie and she said that in her company, it is mandatory to use the special goods, a hel uh, helmet and gloves to enter certain areas. And if people uh, get in danger, well, get in danger, we can say, right? Because they do not follow those policies of security, they can be fired, right? So that is, those are policies, check. A policy is a code of conduct. A code of conduct is a common policy found in most businesses. So a code of conduct means in different areas or in different moments, how people should behave at the workplace, right? When you're sick, when you need a, sick, uh, a permission, 
when you need when you need to use different things when you need to enter certain areas or if you want to use a computer from the company or if you need to get a photocopy so there are different policies right those are things that tell you uh, what you can do in a in a moment we can say in the company without getting into problems. Check some examples here that we have of policies are a recruitment policy, an internet and email policy. For example, in some companies, well, where I work in the morning, one recruitment policy is that people should be a professional from the university to be hired. If no, mm -mm. Right? They should have a scalafone. If no, they cannot be hired. Right? So that is a part of a recruitment policy. Internet and email policy, if you can answer emails to different people, right? If you can have internet connection from the company, or you should be carrying your own internet, right? Mobile phone policy, where you can use it, in what moment? The smoking policy, if there is a specific area for people to smoke. Remember now it is forbidden to smoke in public areas. So that policy has become very important, right? A drug and alcohol policy, you cannot get drunk to work, right? Or even having consumed drugs, that's something that is unacceptable, right? health and safety policy, that's what we were saying about Rossi, and anti-discrimination and harassment policy. That means uh, anti-discrimination is that we cannot discriminate anybody because of uh, the color of their skin, because of um, religion, or because of different things, right? So we cannot discriminate anybody and also uh, the harassment is is a very delicate topic right that's a very delicate topic and that is when uh, sometimes in the, the same workplace there are men chasing women or women chasing men and telling them things that are inappropriate for the for the workplace that's harassment and uh, there is a, a, a code conduct, right? That says that in a workplace, those types of behaviors are not acceptable, right? So you cannot be chasing a colleague without expecting ha of having any problem, right? So those are some examples of policies. Later on, we will be talking about some others, right? Now, Check, check. Look at the conversation. Just let me move this. <clears throat> Look at the conversation. Uh, let's read it. Then I'm going to send you to practice, right? To read it in pairs. Says, hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Yo creo que aquí hay un error de name, ¿verdad? Porque si Max está hablándose solito. ¿Verdad que sí? Yes. Yes, Bruno. Yes. Bruno. I should be Bruno. Bruno. Oh, Bruno. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, so how are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. Uh, for example, employees should wear a uniform always. Aquí le vamos el cambio porque ustedes ya saben cuál es la posición de always en una oración. Employees should always wear a uniform. 
okay? Hágale la, la, la correction. Employees should always wear a uniform. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do, do if you do this, you receive a warning. What is a warning? Advertencia. Mm -hmm. And should you notify your supervisors? Should you notify your super superiors? Oh my God. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yeah, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have the policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. Mm, I think so too. Okay. Let's let's read it now. You repeat after me. Hey Max, look. Hey Max, look. I want to know what policies you have in hey, Max, look. <clears throat> I want to watch the policy you have in your company. Teacher, repeat please the pronunciation policies. 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 Como que la E fuera muda. Ah, policies. Policies. Ah, va. How are you, Bruno? How are you, Bruno? How are you, Bruno? Well, well there are many how are policies you, in my company. There are, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform, always wear a uniform. For example, employees should wear a uniform. There are many policies. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. Employers should wear. In my company, you shouldn't be late. In my company, you shouldn't be late. Delay. Shouldn't. 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 Meaning should mm -hmm. igual la o muda y la l muda should should right. should yeah should 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 yeah should 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 And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. Yes, you should. I see. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. I see. Another policy we have at we my have work, a my work drugs. is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. Nobody chose to the drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. We also have that policy in my work too. We also have the policies in my work too. Aquí hay una situación, fíjense. Que o usamos also o usamos too. Pero no podemos usar las dos cosas. We also have that policy in my work. We also have that oh, policy. We, we have that have policy that in, my in my world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do it. Do it. We have the police in my world too. You should shoulder. Shouldn't. You shouldn't do it. Shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it. I think Les voy a contar, les voy a contar por qué no puede llevar also y tú. Es una sola oración, ¿verdad? Yes. Y las dos son palabras eh, para addition. Entonces, como que yo estoy diciendo. Y además, nosotros tenemos esa, esa política en nuestro estudio. 
en nuestro trabajo también. O ocupa además o ocupa también, pero no puede ocupar la tos. Si no es como que, como cuando alguien dice, pero sin embargo, los dos son contrast, uno puede usar pero y sin embargo en la misma oración. O ocupa pero o ocupa sin embargo, pero no ocupa los dos. ¿Verdad? Entonces lo mismo pasa acá. O ocupa also o ocupa tú, pero no puede usar los dos. Oye. Así que me voy a inclinar más por eliminar el also. Y nos quedamos con we have that uh, in that my that group. Group. Okay. Okay. Eh, mi O sea, teacher, que ahí le va a eliminar el bolsón y solo se va a leer we have. Sí. Sí. Así, ¿verdad? Sí. Vamos a quitar el also y solo vamos a dejar el have. Uh -huh. Any other question here? Question. We have. No, ¿Cómo te pronuncias? Policy. Policy. A policy. Policy. Policy en singular. Policies in plural. Policies in plural. Sí. Policy and policies. Okay, we have two questions, right? We have two questions. So what you're going to do first, espero que hayan corregido la conversation, ¿verdad? What we are going to do. Okay, what we are going to do first is practice the conversation. And then, then we are going to answer the questions. Oye, ¿de acuerdo? I agree. Okay, perfect. Los mandaré a los grupitos. Let's see how many are we now? Oh, 15. Um, bueno, voy a hacer, voy a hacer los, los cuatro grupos. Esperemos. Bonita ya. Cuídate. Todos compromisos también. Para Erika Joana, Iván del Cid, Manuel Rossi, Carlos. Perdón, teacher. No sé qué le toqué y me salí de, del grupo. Es que no se han ido, Silvia. Ah, sí, pero me salí. Me tocó volver a entrar desde el mismo. Ah, no, pero no, no se han ido todavía. Yo voy a ver si usted se quedó fuera de algún grupo. Ya la voy a agregar hoy. Ah, no, no. Gracias. No, no. No. Está, está, ah, sí, no. Bye. Okay, bueno, uh, we have three groups of four and one group of three. Uh -huh. Let's go, let's go, join. Remember, first practice the conversation and then answer the question. Okay? Let's go. Join, 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 join. to join. Nice. Erika, Rosy, Clarissa, try to join. Uh -huh. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Hola, hola buenas noches. Hola. Hola. A mí siempre me cuesta entrar a la primera. Sí, es un veo. Siempre tengo que salirme y volver a entrar. No, tengo que salirme para que de un solo me mande al grupo. Oh, mire, ve, a ver qué será, ¿verdad? Fíjese de que tuve un problema así desde la vez pasada en el módulo 3, parece. Oh, Como a las 10 y 20 se fue la ticha ayudándome. Ay. <ríe> sí, pero solo así la logro. Ya en la segunda ya no me cuesta mucho. A saber qué será. 
malcriado. Mero, Iván. Hey, ¿cómo estamos? <ríe> El mero meme. <ríe> ok, solo tres somos. Sí. Exacto. Exacto. Excelentoso, decía. Excelentoso. Hoy solo son tres. Ah, no, cuatro. Cuatro. Ya se agregaron cuatro. cuatro. Erika, very good. Cuatro. Erika. A ver, Erika. Vaya, damos dos. Pues. Bueno, hoy sí le damos un poquito más de rostro. <risa> A mí, es que última, 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 es que es que última, 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 es que 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 Ay, qué galán fue. Ah. Ese es el regalo del día. De la We madre. are in May, more dancing <ríe> long. Ok. Ok. okay. Este, Somos cuatro. ¿Quién con Erika y quién conmigo? Eh, démosle a Rosy. Va. Este es Bruno. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know that. What? Policies? Sí. Policies. Policies you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform. Always. Dijeron de que esto lo íbamos a cambiar, ¿verdad? Should always use a uniform, sí. Solo It's tenía it. que ser should always use. Wear a uniform, should always wear. Sí, es que acuérdense que las expressions of time, no. Los adverbs of frequency van mm. antes del verbo. Entonces sería should always. Always. Mm -hmm. Should always. Y should always wear a uniform. A uniform. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ajá. So, yeah. Okay. Se lo voy a repito, ok. Ok. How are you? Iniciamos, iniciamos. Ok. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you, you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should always wear a uniform. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do, if you do this, you receive a warning. Mm -hmm. And should you not notify your superior? Jury, como te dice? Notify. Not notify. Um, notify. And should you notify your superiors? If you do something wrong. Yes, you should. I see another policy we have at my work in the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Hey. hey, hey Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, mm -hmm. employees should always wear a uniform. Well, In my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes. You do yes. Something. Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have 
at the work is the usage of draw. Nobody should drugs. Yeah, drugs or drugs. 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 Okay. We have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay. ¿Quién empieza, Iván? Como guste. <laughs> si quiere yo. Okay. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, uh, Bruno? What are the Armani policy in my company, for example? Employer sure I wear, wear a uniform. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. I'm sure you notify your super superior super is your do uh, something wrong. Yes, you should. Something wrong. I've, I've been wrong. I sorry. <laughs> I feel um no term policy we have at me work in the house of Drew. Nobody sure do draw draw. We had that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do do it. I really so too. I insist. Okay. I think so too. I think too too. Okay. Hey Max, look do why to now what policy your I is your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should always wear a uniform. Well, in the company uh, your student with letter is your dog uh, this your recipe. I warning, warning. And you do notify your superior if you do something wrong. Yes, you should. That policy in my world that uh, to you shouldn't do not. I think so too. Okay. Ahora que están todos eh, one two two question. Aquí estoy observando una donde dice, por ejemplo, employee shouldn't wear a uniform and ways. Should always wear a uniform. Hagan la corrección, ¿verdad? Should always wear a uniform. Should always wear should always wear a uniform. A uniform. This is one. For Jorge. What are you some police at mass uh, at, at Max Company? Oh. Puedo puedo proyectar la pantalla de las ¿Te parece? Sure. Okay. No. I mean, oh, okay. Is that? Is okay, who's it? In the max police. Mm, employees should wear a uniform always. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Y la otra no le he comprendido muy bien. Why should a worker do if he she make a mistake? Worker, what you say worker, teacher? Trabajando. Worker. Worker. Yeah. Uh, what should a worker? A worker is the person, el trabajador. Ah, okay. Oh, sí. uh -huh. 
el trabajador, that's the worker. Uh, Carlos, este, she, este, este question is the is the worker is, is commit a, a, a mistake. What happened? Yeah. O sea, es que si un empleado comete un error, él o ella comete un error, ¿qué pasa? Sí, ajá. Entonces ahí... O sea, lo que podemos... Oh, um, si gusta, no me pongo... Ah, si va a escribir algo, póngalo en el chat y lo copio y lo pego, no sé. Uh -huh. uh, en mi caso es que... Este, you receive a warning, teacher. Yeah. You receive a warning. Uh -huh. Receive. Receive. A okay. warning. Uh -huh. warning. warning. Receive a warning. Yeah, I can see every company, right? But sometimes at the beginning, the first warning is a uh, we is oral. Yeah, yeah. And the second is. And the second is a greeting, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Si gusta, Jorge, lo pega, lo escribe en el chat, lo, lo, lo pego ahí, le pregunta eso. Hello, hello. Ay. Hello, Ay, se está sí, <laughs> Boy, boy, uh, contestando las preguntas, están compañero Carlos. Yes, La uno hemos respondido, falta el do, número dos, nada más. Question two and three. Eh, Carlos, ahí está en el chat. Ok, ahorita. Ok, ahí está. You rise and award. You receive. You receive. You receive. receive a warning. Receive. Receive, teacher. Receive. 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 A warning. Warning. Okay. Those questions. One question. Those questions. Vaya que Cecilia, vamos a practicar la la conversion. Okay. Para no dormirnos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Empiezo. Yes. Hey Max, uh, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, uh, Bruno? Uh, well, uh, there are man, uh, many policies in my company. Uh, for example, employees should wear a uh, uniform always. Uh, wait, uh, why in my company you children be late if you do this, you say a warning? Mm -hmm. And should you notify your uh, supervisor if you want to do some, some type of warning? Something. Something. Warning. 
Buenísimo. Entonces, como, como les iba diciendo, ¡ah! ¡Ay, mis... ¡Ay! No, ya, ter ya terminamos y estamos haciendo aquí. Ok, yes. ok. Bueno. Hoy hacemos las oraciones, mis. Did you answer the questions? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, you answered all the questions. Yes. 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 Físicamente es un milagro que estoy vivo. Los daños, que, los daños que va a tener a consecuencia de esto. Sí. O sea, motores. Ready. Y hoy sí vemos un poquito más a Erika, ¿verdad? <ríe> sí, ya le vemos más un poquito más de la, de la gente. Ya me voy a esconder, va a decir Erika. <ríe> Vamos a ver qué faltan varios. Hmm, bueno. Seven seconds and everybody will be back. Nice. Let's see. What are some policies at Max Company? Uh -huh. What are some policies at Max Company? The employees should always wear a uniform. Yes, the employees should always wear a uniform, right? And what should uh, I work? Uh huh. Tell me. And no, nobody should do drugs. Nobody should do drugs. Mm -hmm. Okay. What should a worker do if he or she makes a mistake? Okay. He or she should. Not notify uh, him or her superior. The superior. If she or he does send no does something wrong. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So if they do something wrong, they should report the superior. Do you have to superior. report in your workplace? Do you have to report when you do something wrong? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have yes. two reports. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh. Do you say no? Si no se da cuenta mejor. Ah. Hmm. No se puede, mi soy de cámara por todos lados. <laughs> Definitely, they will notice, right? They will always notice. Okay. Vamos a ver. Uh, next question. Oh, well, we have only two, but I have one question more for you. One more question. In your company, what are some policies that you have? What are some policies in your workplace? Mm -hmm. Some smoke. That's smoke. I, I be on time. Uh -huh. What happens if you are late? Uh -huh. I receive a warning. Oral for the first. Oral warning. Oral warning. Are you late again? Uh, second warning, and in this case, oral, oral and right. Oral and right. 
it can break it, yes. And if you are uh, arrive late, it can? Uh, we, we have a discount. A discount, okay. Yes. If you continue. Is maybe you lose your work. <laughs> yeah, you are fired. You're fired. Yes. Yeah, because that is very delicate. And there are people who do not understand at the first, right? When they when they get an, a warning, yeah. right? They continue being late. Or they continue doing the, the, the action, right? That cause them to receive a warning. They continue on the same way. And at the end, eh, the boss, I guess, they get tired, right? And they say, like, goodbye if you cannot follow, right? Now, yes. At, uh, Miss, at my job, all employees uh, arrive early to work. Yeah. Imagine yeah. my, I, I, I enter, I begin work, I start to work at nine, but I prefer to get there before seven because in case there is a, a problem with the traffic, I'm there early, not late. So this year I was late once but later oh. I was yeah and it was not my class I was substituting but I was like oh my god I'm going to get late and imagine when it is your responsibility to be there right, so uh-huh but that's uh part of the of the custom right so you get accustomed to get early to your work now Check the, the, the structure we're using today. We're talking about should. Should and shouldn't. Remember, we say should. We say the always mute and the L is mute. And we say should. Sh right, should. And on the other side, we have shouldn't, right? The O and the L are mute, so you shouldn't. We use should and shouldn't to give advice or to talk about what we think is right or wrong. If something is right, we will use should, right? So we think uh, that's what we recommend because that is right. And if something is wrong, we're going to recommend it in negative. You shouldn't do that, right? You shouldn't be late and check. You should means I think it is a good idea for you to do it, right? I think it is a good idea for you to, to be earlier to work. I think it is a good idea to, to get up earlier, right? I think it is a good idea to, to stop using your phone. So you recommend it. And if you recommend something for negative, you shouldn't, means I think it is a bad idea for you to do this. So I think it is a bad idea for you to, to drink alcohol and get to work drunk. I think that's a terrible idea, right? Should is used to express the opinion of a speaker and often follows, I think, or I don't think. So you say, I think it is a good idea. I think you should do this. I don't think you should do this. Yeah. Or you can say, I don't think you should go out during working hours. Or I think you shouldn't go out during working hours. Right, depending on what you want to, uh, to express. Any question here? Question. Question. Not teacher. Not teacher. 
Nice. Check. Here we have some other examples. We say, you look tired. I think you should take a few days off. Alice works very long hours. She should talk to her boss. I never have enough money. I don't think you should go out so much. So you see, that's what I was telling you, right? So you can say, I think you should. I think you shouldn't. Or I don't think you should, right? Okay, so you can play with I think or I don't think and they should and shouldn't. Okay, it depends on the recommendation that you want to give. Any question? Question, no? Um, <laughs> es decir, means, si yo utilizo el I don't think, el should se mantiene en su posición o sea, sin contra sin la negación porque lo estoy haciendo en el don sí. okay. es, que, es como que le diga no creo que debas ah uh, okay sí. o le puede decir I think you shouldn't yo creo que no deberías I think you ajá so you can say I think you should I think you shouldn't o I don't uh -huh. think you should. Entonces, depende de cuál es la sugerencia que quiere dar. Yo creo que no debería salirte del trabajo en horario. Se uh -huh. okay. O I don't think you should go out. Entonces, yo creo que no deberías. O yo no creo que debieras salirte. Okay. So that is... Uh, you're telling the same. The only thing is that you change. No puede decir yo no creo que no deberías. ¿Verdad? Porque ese sería uh -huh. una obligation. Ya no le dijo nada. Right? Uh -huh. But, but you can but, say, I think you shouldn't or I don't think you should. Okay. Thanks. Any other <laughs> Bye. Okay, but yeah, pues, let's see. Uh, moving to the, no, I don't have what I want to do. Look at the, look at the example. Check. What you're going to do here, right? Pay attention again to the structure. Uh, you have the subject, you should, a verb in, remember, 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 remember. Because sometimes uh, people tend to put two here. Y no puede ir un tú aquí, ¿verdad? Never. So you say, I think you should wear a helmet inside the factory. Well, ya siempre. You should wear a helmet inside the factory. She should be on time. Recuerde, este verbo va en forma base. Aunque usted esté usando chi, no le pone B, no le pone S. Ni tampoco le pone S a should, ¿verdad? No existe la S para el should. No existe la S para el verbo. When we're talking about should. Thank Ok, so in negative. Che, disculpe que le interrumpa. Dijo usted que para el verbo a las terceras personas tampoco no se les puede agregar ese. O oh, me corrige. Exacto. No. Ah, no no se le agrega ese a, al verbo, vea. A nada. Ah, ok. A nada. Ajá. Cuando usamos modas, no existe la S. Repeat, please, teacher. Con modas no existe la S. Por ejemplo, acá yo puedo decir she should be. ¿Verdad? She should go. El verbo va a ir siempre en forma base. Este base. El verbo va a ir siempre en forma base. ¿Sí? She should go. 
she should stay, she should come, she should get up earlier, right? She should stay in bed. Entonces, el verbo va a ir siempre, este verbo va a ir siempre en forma base, no importa. ¿Cuál okay. es la que ocupamos? ¿Verdad? Eh, la estructura siempre se va a definir como subject, should, the verb in the base form, and then the complement. Should wear cake, a helmet inside the factory. Should be wear on time every day. Should end small, don't they, in the facilities. Should not forget what, to wear the uniform. Entonces, eh, recuerde, como todo, ¿verdad? Si usted le quiere dar más énfasis a la oración, ocupa así. Si lo quiere que suene más fuerte. You should not forget to wear a uniform. Ay, espero no se me olvide a mí. We're, we're beginning to wear uniform on Monday. Nah, I hope not to forget when I'm getting dressed. <laughs> you see? So you should not forget to wear the uniform. Yes. Any question here? No question. No, no, teacher. Teacher, lo primero que vamos a hacer es, es las preguntas, vea, según la estructura. La, en la segunda parte vamos a hacer eh, usando las policías y my work. Policies, policy, uh -huh. Silvita, no policías. Policies, policies, policies. In my yeah. workplace, uh. Quiero ver qué dice. You should to write sentences about the policies seen in your workplace using the words in parentheses. So you have to write about your schedule. What is a schedule? Uh-huh. Okay. What is the schedule? Dress code. What's the dress code? Código de vestimenta. Código de vestimenta. Ah? Código de vestimenta. Okay. Bueno, trainings, no problem with trainings, sleep in working. <laughs> Eh, Cecilia, sleeping and working out. Y se ve que esto me va a perseguir por el resto de la vida. No, <laughs> solo un par de días. Ah, chichu de <laughs> sí. Ok, vaya, make sentences about uh, your working place, right? Miss, para... Entonces, y, y para responder es... Eh... Yes, I should, o no, I shouldn't. Si le, si le pregunto. Sí, si, es hacia mí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si usted me dice, teacher, should I finish the platform, all the platform today? I, no. I will tell you, yeah, you should finish before the 18th. Uh -huh. uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Go, go. Remember, remember, write the sentences about your workplace, right? People should or people shouldn't.
Okay, how are you doing? Can we check it? A ver. Teacher, uh -huh. you see chat, is is correct. Which, but yes. I, I would like that you read it. If you're ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, perfect. Who will be my first volunteer? Um, I would like to try it. Okay, perfect. Number one, uh, I should meet my edge to the left. I should? Num meet my ah, okay. schedule. My schedule. Number okay. two, a schedule. A schedule. schedule. My uh, number two, I think I should respect my dress code. Number three, uh, you should be attend trainings. And number four, I don't think you should sleep in workhouse. In the workplace? Uh, the number four, uh, I don't think you should sleep in warehouse. Uh -huh. Finish. Okay. Not sleeping. <laughs> what happened if you sleep in the workplace? Mm. 
nothing. They make uh, bullying. No. <laughs> they make bullying, like when you were at school and you slept in the class. Okay, a ver. Who will be my next? Sure. Try. Sure. Go ahead. Mm, number one, I should respect my schedule office. Okay. Allí le da vuelta y dice my office schedule. Ah, my office is schedule. Okay. Um, I should read my dress code. Everyone should not attend the training. No todos atienden. But, everybody, but everybody should attend, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you should not sleep in the board hours. You shouldn't. Okay. You should. You should. No, if you oh, want to be teacher. stronger, you say you should not. Right? Oh, okay. Not, see, because that that makes it stronger. You should okay. not sleep. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. One more volunteer. Erica. The teacher. <laughs> the first. Okay. I should respect. The office schedule. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't forget the dress code, dress code of my office. Okay. She shouldn't. She shouldn't be impatient when attend the trainings. You should not sleep in work hours. Okay. You shouldn't sleep at the workplace. Okay. Thank you, Erica. Thank you very much. Let's see, we have Sandra. Sandra. Uh, I have a, a question with teacher with my husband. Ah, I'll okay. return in a few minutes. Okay. Cecilia. Cecilia, hello. Ready, Ceci? Hello, Miss. No. No. Really? Rosie? Or and teacher. Manuel? I teacher. <laughs> I should respect my schedule. Schedule? Schedule in my work. I should wear my dress code at night. I should. Wow. Okay, wait. Uh, when you say I should wear my, what do you refer to? My dress code at night. Um, I don't know my, I don't know dress code t-shirt. Do you have a dress code? Uh, El código de vestir en su trabajo, ¿cuál es? Um, jeans and shirt. Ok. So you should wear uh, jeans and, and a polo. Okay. polo shirt. Okay. Yeah, I should wear my dress code every day. Mm -hmm. You should follow. Vaya, chequen. Usted se pone la ropa, pero sigue el dress code. Right? So you follow uh -huh. the dress code. Okay. I should follow my dress code at work. Okay. Uh, well, no, I sería wear. No, you follow the dress code. Uh, I wear I jeans. Follow. You, you wear jeans and the shirt and a t-shirt, but okay. you follow a dress code. Sigue un okay. código de vista. Mm -hmm. I I should attend trainings on Fridays. Okay. I shouldn't sleep in my in my work. 
Okay, very good. Very, very good. Let's say Missy. Missy. make me sleepy. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Okay, vamos a ver. Iván, tell me, Iván. Iván, hello. Hello, hello. No here. Carlos Alfredo. Hello, Hello. Okay. Uh, one, uh, you should be more responsibility and you work. Uh, you ah, you should be responsible in your work. Should should let's please pronounce it. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. La dos es you should. Respect the drugs. Yes. Código. Código. Es que no, no, le, no le capté que me dijo. You should be more responsible. Ah, you should be more responsible. You should. should. Huh? Yes. Sí, you should be more, more responsible. Uh -huh. In your work. Continue. Okay, luego la dos es you should respect the dress code. You should. Yes, you should. Okay. La tres es I should attend our schedule. Como schedule. Schedule. Yes. Uh -huh. Schedule. Trangy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Se, se gusta. Okay, Entonces, go ahead. Me revisa las que yo tengo si están buenas o malas. Sure, go ahead. Yeah. The, uh, usando el I sure, uh, sure, my, uh, I sure check my shoes in the workplace. I should uh, check my, wait, wait, wait. I should check uh, my, my, my. Should, pero, pero sí, espérame. Mi horario, my schedule. My schedule. My schedule. schedule. Perdón, I my schedule sí. in the workplace. Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. De ahí, quiero ver la otra es, you should use my dress code in the company. En otra, eh, she should arrive at 10 trainings. She should attend. Ah, she should attend. Ajá, uh -huh. quítele el trabajo. She should attend training. Quítele el trabajo. Okay. Mm -hmm. She should attend trains. Trains. Trainings, ¿verdad? Trains. 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 Ajá. Y la cuarta, digo yo que está bien. <laughs> uh, he should now sleep in work. Yeah, she shouldn't work. Ajá. Uh -huh. She should not sleep in working hours. Ajá. Yeah. Uh -huh. She should not sleep in the work house. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Clarice. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see. Erika. Ya me dijo Erika. Claudia y Bonnie. Okay, teacher. In the first sentence, I shouldn't forget my schedule. Mm -hmm. I should wear outfit according to my dress code. Yeah. You should attend trainings to learn. And you shouldn't sleep in work hours. Okay. Ni en class hours tampoco. Okay, thank you, thank you. Sandra, you're ready, right? Right, sorry, teacher. Okay, um, right first, I, I too do my schedule. Okay. You should respect the dress code in the office. Mm -hmm. I should be attend trainings and 
I I couldn't, couldn't sleep in work hours. Okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you. Now let's see. Oh, I'm sharing. Hi, teacher. Okay, uh, I should play my schedule. Uh -huh. I should respect my dress code. Uh, you should attend training. And I shouldn't sleep in work hours. Yes. Thank you, Karen. Now, look at this. I have a couple of sentences for you to complete, right? So you have to decide if you, you should or shouldn't to complete the sentences. Go ahead, do them in your notebook, and then we check. We, we, we will have an activity later on, but it's not that long. Okay, so first we will finish this uh, activity. We will complete the sentences. Giving recommendations, right? Apart from mm -hmm. all policies at work, there are many things that we know we should do as humans, right? So look at the uh, sentences and decide if you, you should or shouldn't do it. <laughs> Se lo quiero poner en el chat, pero qué barbaridad. Ay, siempre me lleva un pedacito de, de verde. Ahí está. My chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Okay, perfect. Ready? Everybody ready? Yes, teacher. Nice, nice. Sandra, Silvia, Clarissa. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm You should drink some water. You should drink some water. Uh -huh. <clears throat> 
o me falta alguna palabra ahí, porque sería, según el complemento sería ver, eh, to, eh, to ya te aviso. some water. Ajá. Ajá, you should drink some water. Con el verbo ya está, ¿verdad? Yo sí, ya solo sí. ponemos should. You yeah. should drink some water. Uh -huh. What about the next one? You should visit the doctor. <laughs> you should visit the doctor. Next. You shouldn't be late for school. Be late for school. Next. You should do more exercise. You should do more exercise. Next. You shouldn't drive too fast. Yes, you shouldn't drive too fast. Next. You shouldn't smoke. You shouldn't smoke. You shouldn't smoke. Yes, miss. Next. Yeah. Mm. You should clean your teeth. Yeah, you should clean your teeth. What about the next one? You shouldn't, you shouldn't be rude to people. You shouldn't be rude to people. Right? Next. You should. Sure. You should. You should visit your grandparents. You the next one. You shouldn't you should. in class. Yeah, you shouldn't shout in class. Any questions? No questions. No. no? Perfect. Not the chair. Okay. Nice. Wait, no, let's go then. This is your turn to work. I'm going to send you to the groups. I'm going to send you to the groups. And you're going to get in, well, not in pairs, right? But in groups and discuss about the policies that you have in your company. Make a list. Make a list of policies that you have in your company, no less than five, verdad? And be ready to chill. I'm going to give you um, about 15 minutes for you to write them, and then I will call you back. Los mando, los mando en grupos, oye. En grupos, no en parejas. Ok, teacher. Ok. Tengo 15, 14. One, two groups of, two groups of four, two groups of three. <laughs> Here she goes. Es que si hago, si hago ya seis grupitos, este Zoom ingrato se tarda un montón en convertirse, entonces no puedo hacer más, más de cuatro. Si sí quiero dormir ahora, <ríe> si no, no dormiré. Vaya, there we go. Check in. Ready? Ready, ready? Ready. Nice. Join, 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 join. Right. ¿Quién me quedó fuera, Clarixa? Sí, dicha. No sé si ya me agregó. Ya la mando porque este, este salió. Ah, ok. Gracias. Vale, ahorita la mando. Unir, ajá, unirme. Sí. Media entré y media salió. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Ladies. Hi. Uno que haga el documento. Maybe Karen can share or Rose. Teacher, teacher, voy a desplegarme en estos momentos hacia la casa, voy a manejar, así que voy a estar como solo oyente. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Vaya, uno de ustedes puede compartir, oye. Ok. Puede usted, Jorge. Mm, I have a problem. Que yo no puedo. Silvia. Hello. Hola, hola. Es que ella va manejando, chicos. Les acaba de decir. No, Karen va manejando. No, no, yo no. No, Silvia, yo... la que ah, va manejando. Karen. Hola, hola. Hello. ¿Puedes compartir? No, no puedo compartir. ¿Va que estaba manejando, Karen? No, no, no. Ah, usted no puede compartir. Okay. Come on. Ay, no sé. I don't know. Bye. Se nos fue a Este que grupo uno, dos. Vamos a ver si Manuel nos comparte. Hi Manuel, can you share a screen? ¿Por qué me sacó el grupo que estaba? <ríe> es que estos pobres niños están aquí que nadie quiere compartir pantalla. Yo igual, <ríe> no puedo. Tampoco. No. Ándale, ¿qué pasó? Pe? Pero no, yo creo que no es necesario compartir pantalla, si mi hermano le está la pregunta esa que, bueno, la indicación que usted nos dio. No, si sí, siempre pueden compartir pantalla, están libres. Vaya, vale, cheque. Vale, les voy a traer a Isaías, a ver si Isaías fue. Daniel puede. Daniel no está. Oh. Hoy no está Daniel. Hi, Isaías. Hi, hi. Hello. Welcome. Está dormido igual que es eso. <ríe> Porque es de me duermen, qué barbaridad. A ver, Cecilia, Carlos, están Bueno, escriban en algún lugar, ¿verdad? Y me reportan. Sí, así va a tocar escrito porque no se puede compartir y yo no creo necesario compartir. Entonces, es una política muy diferente a, a cualquier otro. English, vamos, vamos, vamos. Ok, en my job, eh, we have a, a exchange policy eh, about the cellular use, using, using, use, use the cellular. The cell phone. Eh, the cell phone, yeah. Uh, because uh, all the employees have uh, to, ¿cómo, cómo lo pudiera decir? all the cell phone uh, have uh, 100 percent of bat battery. And, ¿Cómo se lo digo? Es que es, es esto, mire, bien diferente a cualquier empresa, mis. O sea, eh, el uso del celular es obligación Ajá. y la política prohíbe el que en horas del trabajo lo apaguen. Porque. Eh, so eh, you cannot turn it off. Oh, yes. You cannot. And when the. the uh, no. The employees of the camp 
¿cómo se dice que la gente que trabaja en el, o sea, eh, gente, le explico mi trabajo. Yo trabajo en una institución financiera, la cual tiene un aspecto, lógicamente, de negocio, pero también proyección social. Es decir, se atiende a la base de la pirámide con financiamientos para eh, emprendimiento o pequeña y mediana empresa. Pero eh, tiene un componente adicional y es que si sí estamos regulados, pero la metodología es que todo se hace in situ. In situ. Se atiende. What does it mean? In, in situ es una palabra en latín que significa en el lugar. Oh, I see. Ajá. Ya entonces, <ríe> en solo in situ. entonces eh, si usted es, eh, bueno, yo tengo en, ahí en la agencia, son 24 personas que están a mi cargo. Eh, y de estas, eh, 20 eh, son gestores, son cipotes que andan en motocicletas en el campo. No en el campo, no en lo rural, pero sí en, en, en los comercios. Yeah. Entonces, si usted es una empresaria, eh, le acercamos eh, los beneficios eh, bancarios y los productos financieros hasta su lugar, pero usted no se mueve. Mm -hmm. Porque eh, hoy por hoy, eh, la ventaja competitiva está en función del tiempo y en los beneficios que le puedo dar yo a usted. Entonces, Exacto. somos una empresa verde, aparte de que somos una empresa regional, y eh, todos eh, los créditos, que es la base inicial, eh, se hacen casi con cero papel. Todo se hace en base a una aplicación y, o sea, a las 8 de la mañana todos salen al campo a hacer su ruta, entonces ahí inicia la política. No es excusa de que se me apagó el celular, porque la empresa le da el celular y tienen... Los celulares ahí quedan, el de la empresa, el de ellos se lo pueden llevar, pero el de la empresa se queda cargando y al final del día, pues hay alguien que lo recibe y al inicio del día le entregan el equipo. Entonces no lo pueden apagar, saliendo de ahí tienen acti que activar el GPS en su teléfono. Entonces la política establece de que es una penalidad que usted desconecte los datos para que el GPS se apague y o quedarse sin batería. Eso es como lo, lo peor que puede suceder. Y en el momento que se pierde la señal, hay algo, hay un monitor plus que eh, empieza a tirar alertas. Sí, y hay una persona que es supervisor que ubica su último punto de GPS y lo va a buscar a la zona porque le puede haber sucedido algo y mire, sucede un montón de cosas, de repente se ven los puntos en el mapa de todo El Salvador, cómo se mueven. Es bien interesante mi trabajo, ah. porque tiene la connotación financiera y la parte esa de logística. Uh -huh. De logística. De logística. Wow, but imagine so. Aquí en El Salvador se maneja un nivel de tecnología increíble, fíjese. Yo tuve de cliente a un señor que él, su fuente de ingreso es que alquila todos los meses. El alquiler le cuesta 30 mil dólares. Él alquila barcos pesqueros. Cada barco le cuesta 30 mil dólares el mes. Gasta casi 10 mil dólares en hielo. 10 mil dólares en combustible. Pero son monitoreados desde España. Y ellos lo que hacen desde ya, desde el inicio del Salvador, allá por eh, Aguachapán, hasta allá la unión eh, pasan todo el tiempo eh, sobre esa área pescando, de preferencia camarones, y los venden a las, a las empresas por, eh, que se dedican a la, ya a la comercialización, exportación o distribución a los restaurantes. Oh, wow. y, y, y gente que la mira bien sencillita, bien humilde, no, humilde que quíjole. Pero, pero sí, eh, eh, el avance, eh, bueno, la comercialización de cualquier producto aquí en El Salvador ya tiene una, un nivel bien elevado. Ya, yeah, because imagine if going to, to Spain. Wow. And my work, no, my job is, eh, ¿cómo se dice acompañar? No, no, eso es en español, pero no sería eso. ¿Tu company? Eh, eh, tu, 
tu people o tu um, mm, tu company people ajá uh en -huh. en him en there cómo se dice desarrollo development de development sí o sea mi trabajo es eh, imagínense que mi trabajo es acompañar y desarrollar al micro y pequeño comerciante en sus proyectos y, y, y es algo cruel lo que voy a decir pero ni modo así es. hacerlo crecer para que la van para que sea atractivo para la banca de primer piso y él pueda eh, ser sujeto de mejores financiamientos y pueda ordenarse financieramente y pueda ya eh, formalizarse yeah because ahí, cuando, the only thing is that going with usureros right that people that we ah, yes. a lot of eh, de hecho, lo, el, el, un, eh, una vez que salió la ley de usura, eh, casi en un 90% se perdió ese, esa, esa situación. Solo los que todavía atentan y no les importa que los metan a la cárcel, eh, todavía siguen ejerciendo. Yeah. Pero... Es sí, es eh, sad to see people losing their cars, losing their houses because of that situation. That yes, me, eh, that people... Eh, Oh, the, uh, this situation is very dangerous because uh, the people uh, the so lost uh, the house or car uh, maybe uh, uh, take action uh, for another people. Uh, no sé cómo se dice, pero, pero eh, yo he conocido de casos de abogados de aquí de, de la Sonsonate que han terminado muertos porque se volvieron así prácticamente recaudadores de impuestos y se quedaban con propiedades y, 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 y siempre se van a topar con alguien más, más loco que ellos. Pero sí, la ley de usura ha venido a proteger mucho. De hecho, eh, para los tarjetavientes, la gente que utiliza la tarjeta de crédito eh, ha venido a darles eh, mayor seguridad en su a, eh, en sus actividades financieras. Yeah. Porque sí, lo que sucede, por ejemplo, es prohibido ya que le cobren membresía. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, lo otro, bueno, es, es, un, es un conjunto bien amplio porque se, se mezcla la educación financiera que es decir, cómo yo uso mi efectivo, la posibilidad de adquirir el efectivo, y las leyes bancarias, mucho las desconocemos. Y, usted, y, y no es por el hecho de, de conocerlas, sino que es necesario que sepa sus derechos. Muchas de las... Eh, el caer en mora es el, quizás lo mejor que le pueda pasar a alguien que ya no tenga capacidad de pago. Porque si usted demuestra que quiere pagar, al final le van a dar mejores beneficios que un buen cliente. Oh, mire, mire. Sí, lo que no tiene que hacer es esconderse, o sea, y documentar todo. Si usted tiene una deuda, acercarse y decir, mire, yo quiero pagar y no puedo todo por escrito, documentarse. Eh, yo conozco casos porque también soy asesor financiero y tengo mis clientes así independientes. Eh, que eh, deudas de 20 mil, 30 mil dólares se han logrado, eh, el término se llama honrar, han logrado honrar sus obligaciones casi que con un 10%. Okay. Es decir, va, págame 3 mil dólares y olvidémonos la deuda de 30 mil. Sí, porque, porque en lugar de perder todo, tratan las... Bueno, de hecho, los bancos le venden la deuda a, a empresas de recuperación y, y se la venden por una tontera. Lo que ellos ganan ya es ganancia. Lo que ellos recuperan, perdón, ya es ganancia. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Wow. Es bonito saber, saber mucho de eso. Se libra uno de un montón de cosas. Y mi sugerencia para todas las personas que puedo... Eh, trate de no utilizar tarjeta de crédito. Ah, sí. sí. O sea, no, no. Yo, yo pasé, 
I don't have, they they call me and call me and call me and they say, we have a credit card for you. And <laughs> yeah. like, no thanks, no thanks, no thanks. It's a big problem because mm -hmm. uh, this money uh, is very cheap, no, cheap, barato, caro. It's expensive. Expensive, expensive. expensive. It's very expensive. Uh, the thing the, is that you're using money that is not yours, money that you haven't even uh, gotten. That's the mm -hmm. right? The the people uh, made a a big mistake and is use the credit card uh, to buy uh, food, mm -hmm. pizza, hamburger, cheese. Uh, anyway, the and that when they are paying with the credit card, it's like okay, yeah, it's, they they have the feeling that they are not expending money but they forget yeah. that at the end of the month that has to be paid and with interests that's the thing yeah. fíjese que las tarjetas de crédito eh, para mí no son bueno de hecho nada es malo sino que es lo que nosotros hacemos pero están destinadas para los empresarios por ejemplo aquel y a gente que se dedica al transporte de carga o a los buses Eh, sí utilizan las tarjetas, pero no son la, las que nosotros conocemos. Son tarjetas empresariales que llevan un beneficio. Ajá. Póngale que dan mi, millas por el uso. Uh -huh. Entonces ellos viajan de gratis y lo utilizan como medio de pago. Le dan Ajá. una tarjeta a, a cada motorista de rastra y anda en todo Centroamérica y anda echando gasolina. They can check, they can monitor the use. Ya. Right. Yeah. But... Eh, in the months eh, pay all the money mm -hmm. es decir eh, no solo hacen el pago mínimo sino que no, cancelan the todo Ajá, the yes. in that way uh, to work but if no, no mm -hmm. es mejor it's better much mire yeah. yo, mañana, yo mañana le quiero pedir permiso me quisiera dormir yo Sí, es que le, mañana va a estar bien cansado. Le doy permiso. Mejor no tengamos es, clase. Le doy permiso mañana. Le doy permiso. Sí, le puedo entregar el otro día mañana. también. ¿Mm? Va. Puedo entregar las tareas mañana. Es que me vale la cabeza. Vaya, vaya, pues. Le voy a dar permiso. <risa> <risa> Drink water. Te ¿Ah? tengo lo, lo, lo de mis políticas en el trabajo. Oh, okay. A ver, tell me. In my goal, the police are uh, not having a business uh, similar to the company and not using uh, the cell phone, uh, the, the personal. Uh, Your personal cell phone. Uh, Do you have a cell phone from the company? No, the, the company, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, checking bags uh, at the park to the uh, time. Okay. Okay. Not asking. Uh -huh. Not asking the customers for their personal number. Correct. Uh -huh, of course, because you cannot be. Uh -huh. I remember. By for example, in in our case. We cannot make a group only we with you, right? It is a group where that is created by English Corporativo and all the, the administrators are there because they check, right? Uh -huh, so it's the same. Not keeping the phone of the customers. Okay, bueno, let's go. I guess everybody's ready, right? Let's go. Okay, Miss, okay. I mean, let's see, where are the others?
is nice. 30 seconds. A ver, group number one, eh, Carlos, Cecilia, and Luis Enrique. Then we will listen to group number two, Isaías, Jorge, Manuel, and Silvia. Number three, Clarissa, Claudia, Yvette, and Rosy. And number four, Erika, Karen, and Sam. Bye. Let's begin with number one. Tell us about your, your policies at work. Okay, Ceci, uh, could you uh, sell the police policies, policies of your company? Hello. I wait. For, I, I wait. Quería ver cuáles son las políticas de mi compañía, Luis. Yes, please. Me parecieron interesantes. Okay. <laughs> Ah, se me olvidó. No lo sé. Come on. Vaya. Uh, in my world, the police are not having a business similar to the company. Um, no using the cell phone personal. Uh, checking bags uh, at the parture uh, time. Y... Ay, el último teacher que se me ayudó. <risa> que era eh, no tener los números de los clientes en... Ajá, no keeping los, the, the los num números de los clientes personal, personal numbers of customers. Yes. Ajá. Ok. Nice, Ceci. Thank you very much. A ver, room number two, Isaías, Jorge, Manuel, Silvia. Who will cheer? Okay. The police, my company, we should sure respect the office itself. We should sure respect the office that's called. We should sure not smoke. We should not sleep the office is school. Should. We shouldn't harassment sex. Only. Okay, thank you, Manuel. And let's see uh, number three, Clarissa, Claudia, Yvette, and Rosy. Nosotros hicimos una recolección de todas. <laughs> Cabal. Claudia y Beto. Pero no sé si. Sí. Si gusta la dirección de todas las. De todas las policies. En la. En Yurko Companet. Vaya, ¿quién comparte, Claudia? Si siquiera las digo yo, Ticha. Ok, go ahead. You shouldn't be late for work, and you shouldn't smoke. You shouldn't shoot in the work. You shouldn't have a couple in the office. A coco. You a couple. A couple. Okay. Couple. A couple. A couple. No couples. <laughs> okay. No. In my company, yes, but in the other company, no. <laughs> You shouldn't use the cell phone in during the for work. Uh, you should respect the schedule. You should respect the dress code. We should active pause for five minutes during the workday. Okay. Uh, you should be concentrated when using the industrial machine. Yes. And you shouldn't kidding. Okay. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you very much. Now the last group, Erika, Karen, and Sandra. 
Teacher, sorry la, eh, la interrupción. Solo llevo ya el 7% de batería, así que así me quedo a medio expreso. <risa> ok, ok, Silvia. <risa> Vaya, vamos a ver. Erika, Karen, and Sandra. Who will chair? Okay, uh, you should be on time. You shouldn't be corrupt. You shouldn't receive money for any favor. You shouldn't carry out any material for your house or to your house. You shouldn't drink alcohol inside the company. You should respect the employees and the customers. You shouldn't give nicknames to your co-workers. You shouldn't do immoral acts. You shouldn't use vulgar words. You shouldn't fight for boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> okay. You shouldn't use the worst tool for the personal uh, and you should respect your co-workers uh, your worst hours. Your working hours, okay? Very good. Excellent. Thank you, thank you. Clarice, aquí de Italian. Okay. Basha, bueno. That's all. That's all. That's all. Vaya, tell me present. Let's see who, who are here. Eh, Carlos Alfredo. Present. Cecilia. Present. Clarissa. Present, teacher. Present. Ok, Claudia. Present, teacher. Vamos a ver. Claudia, Daniel. Yes. ¿Verdad que Daniel estaba al principio? Sí, por ahí está. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Verdad? Ok, Erika. Present, teacher. Isaías. Present. Isaías, le estábamos hablando hace un ratito y no nos quiso contestar. Es que venía manejando y ando en moto, Ticho. Ah, vaya, está perdonado. Pues. Iván. <ríe> Iván. Iván, Iván. Iván. No en clase de Iván, ¿no, verdad? Bien, sí, sí yo estaba ahí. El gran Iván estaba ahí, pues le estábamos diciendo. Lo vieron ustedes, sí, porque al principio. Ahí está. Está ah, en el grupo. También conmigo. Uh -huh. ah, pues. Sí, porque al principio que di que, que ya me atiendan, no estaba. ¿Y Bet? Presente, chat. Jonathan. ¿Vieron a Jonathan? No, ¿verdad? No, no. Uh -huh. Es que hoy no hemos pasado de 16. No sabemos, sí. Eh, Jorge. Present teacher. Juan Antonio. Karen. Present teacher. Luis Enrique. Present. Manuel. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Sandra. Present. Silvia Estela. Present. Pre Silvia Inés. Ya no me agarró. Silvia Inés, no, ¿verdad? Ya no. Ahorita ya se va. Silvia Estela. Muy bien, mire, lo logró. Vaya, Silvia Inés, sí, no, ¿verdad? No, no está. Bueno. Ok. See you tomorrow. Enjoy the weekend. Oh, Monday. See you tomorrow, Monday, teacher. See you, Monday. Classmates. Good night. See you tomorrow morning. Monday. Monday. Monday, perdón. See you, Monday. See you tomorrow, Monday. See you, Monday. Teacher and classmates. Night. Bye-bye. Bye. Happy weekend. Thank bye you. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye.
see you.